your first alert weather with meteorologist Darren Stack. Good Monday to you. A little bit of an unsettled start to the week out there with a cold front moving on through the area. It's going to be getting hotter and staying humid as we go through the middle of the week. As we head to the end of the week, we'll talk about another round of a few late week showers and thunderstorms through the midday and afternoon. Scattered rain showers and thunderstorms remain in the forecast. Some areas will see a good soaking at times, while others maybe just seeing a few passing showers, but still looking at a 60 to 70% chance for rain out there today. We will see mostly cloudy skies, but some occasional peaks of sunshine are certainly not out of the question as well. We'll continue to hold on to those rain chances overnight, tapering off a little bit for the start of the day tomorrow and afternoon for your Tuesday. Looks like it's going to be a little bit drier than today, but still a slight chance for a few showers and thunderstorms to redevelop. But most locations will be drier for your Tuesday afternoon than you're going to be seeing for today. And the reason being we have a cold front off to the west pushing to the east keeping us with a very saturated atmosphere behind that front. Once it makes its way to the coast, there is some drier air to move in, so that should take the humidity down just a little bit. Still going to be a bit on the muggy side heading into the middle of the week, but it's going to get hotter as high pressure builds south and east of our area, cranking up the heat for us. We could see a few pop up thunderstorms for the inland areas on Thursday afternoon until this cold front comes on through by early Friday. This front will bring in some drier weather and a little relief from the heat as we go into your upcoming Friday and weekend. But look at the dew points. Dew points do drop off just a little bit. Still a bit sticky out there for Tuesday and Wednesday this afternoon near that oppressive mark. And actually by Thursday, as that next front is approaching the area, the humidity increases again. So we're talking near oppressive conditions again on Thursday. But once that front comes through, the drier air moves in, head into the end of the week. And that mid to low 60 degree dew point means conditions are going to get a little more comfortable, despite the fact that it's still going to be quite warm heading into the weekend. So at least some good news there. Out there today, scattered rain and a few thunderstorms. Otherwise, mostly cloudy, warm and humid. 82 to 83 for the highs right along the coastline. Georgetown, you'll climb to 84 right along with Carolina Forest, Conway and Socasty. PD and the Border Belt climbing to 85 and 86 degrees with Darlington, Florence, Marion at 86. Dillon, Bennettsville, Rockingham and Lorenberg maxing out at 85. I'm talking about those scattered rain showers and thunderstorms in the forecast today. Still that chance tonight to early tomorrow. We take the rain chance down to 40% chance with a better chance earlier in the morning and an isolated chance into your Tuesday afternoon. Wednesday, we're cranking the heat up to 88 with mostly sunny skies. Thursday up to 90 along the Grand Strand. Before that next cold front comes through here early Friday morning, could see some rain showers and thunderstorms overnight Thursday to Friday for the Grand Strand and the inland areas. Inland, you're going to be seeing a high of 94 degrees on Thursday. That will be our hottest day of the next seven with low to mid 90s area wide, aside from maybe immediately down by the beach with that sea breeze strong enough to penetrate just around uh, the, uh, say, waterway or so. We will see the temperatures come down a little bit for your Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Still upper 80, so it's still going to be hot, just not as hot compared to Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Now our rain chances will taper off as we go through the day tomorrow and we will dry out for your Wednesday with that high of 93 degrees. So just be prepared for more heat, humidity to stick around until we get into the upcoming weekend. Certainly not a bad timing for sunshine and some cooler temperatures with highs in those upper 80s. So have yourself a great Monday. You can always get your latest news, weather, and tropical updates on your website, carolinalive.com.